and concerts is here. And getting dolled up and ready can be some extra fun for a lot of young girls and boys, mm -hmm. but for others it can be quite expensive and they can't afford it. Christine Scarpelli is live at the fifth annual Mary Clippers in Spartanburg to tell you how you can take advantage of a free hairstyling. It's so cool. Yes, yeah, so it's coming up December 16th from 9 a.m. to 1, and this is really just open to all school age kids, it is. In, and not just Spartanburg, in the upstates, because Keisha here and so many dedicated volunteers. We had to show off some of them right here. Let's <laughs> eye on Kim here this morning. And we are at, I know you like the way I say it, Anointed Visions yes. this morning, but this is a fantastic place. You guys catering to so many people in the community, offering cuts, styling, and so much more. This event is also offering more. More than that. Keisha, we are have some really neat winter clothes. We've got shoes over there as well. Things that people can bring and donate. Tell me what the 16th really is going to look like. Oh, it's going to be a big day, a phenomenal day. We'll have vendors there with their tables set up. And my husband will be there, Ray Whitner. He has agreed to stand with me every year. And Thank so you, sir. he will be there serving along with other volunteers from my church. And then we also have vendors that can't come, like Anointed Visions, that will be donating every ninth haircut or hairstyle oh to this goodness. event. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, so what do people need to know? They need to show up at the Northwest Recreation Center mm -hmm. in Spartanburg from 9 a.m. to 1. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to get what? A free haircut or a free hairstyle. Amazing. No chemicals, mind you. No chemicals at all. So there will be no hair wash. But they will get a free style and a free haircut. And there will be performers, dance ministries. They'll have um, music, all types of entertainment there. So it's a day of fun and family time. Made possible because of volunteers and awesome businesses like yourself. Guys, how does it feel to be able to give back? Oh, it feels great. It yeah. feels great. Do you see a need in this community? Do you see those that maybe are underserved or certain family? We do see a need because uh, once before we also donated hairstyles to the Boys and Girls Club at one point. So they mm -hmm. would come over and get hair done. What did the kids, what was the look on their face when you were as excited as if they had gotten Christmas on a regular day? Oh my goodness. You know, a haircut makes just about anybody feel good. I, well, Fred, we know that maybe it's been just a little <laughs> while, but you know, right? This is kind of a fun thing to do for, for many people, yeah. right? You guys enjoy it. <laughs> but to, to Fred's defense, to in one. Fred's defense, you do have some hair. <laughs> I have some hair. I have to get my hair cut every couple of weeks. Fred's yelling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon us. We're having a bit of a discussion <laughs> behind the scenes here. Okay. Guys, remember, important details. Find them at WSBA.com December 16th. Do not forget. And, hey, if you can donate anything from winter clothes to school supplies, they would appreciate that, too. Info on where to do that at WSBA.com. Back to you. Sounds good. Thank you, Christine. <laughs>